Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I'm here with you today to go over one of the recent ColourPop launches. So I'm going to try out the Fade Into Hue eyeshadow palette and then going to talk about the Color Me Obsessed Cream Gel Liner Vault. If you wanna see what that's all about, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And you guys know I love, love, love ColourPop. I do not love, love, love their shipping. I live all the way on the East Coast, Maryland, as far away from California as possible. So shipping always takes forever. So I don't always get to do reviews for their products in time. Like I totally missed the ball on the Raw Beauty Christie palette. I still haven't tried it. But I was really, really excited about this launch. I ordered it Black Friday when it first released. And I don't think a lot of people were very excited about this. But for some reason, I was. It caught my eye. So let's get into the details of what I picked up. So first, of course, we have the Fade Into Hue palette. Now, it has a gorgeous pastel faded kind of look ombre. And then you have the color names on the back. Very pretty. Interesting. This doesn't have a shelf life on here. It does say made with love in the USA as all color pro products are and not intended for use in the immediate area but for whatever reason I can't seem to find shelf life but okay so yeah that's the details on that it is their typical kind of big palette that they started doing last year so you do get 30 shades in this palette and as you can see it is a rainbow palette now this guy is $34 and currently it is sold out on the ColourPop website but they do do uh, frequent restocks and you know how ColourPop also always has sales this is currently $25.50 for the 25% off palettes so maybe keep an eye out for a sale and for this to be restocked if you're interested in the color story now the other item that I did pick up also that released was with the palette was the color me obsessed cream gel liner vault now if you watch my videos you know I absolutely love the ColourPop cream gel liners because I think they're pretty good quality but most importantly they have the best color selection and they're only six bucks. I really enjoy using colorful liner in my waterline to correspond with the look. So I am constantly reaching for my ColourPop colors. And I always felt as though my collection lacked like the lighter pastel colors. So when I saw this, I thought it was perfect for me and my needs. And I do have a few of the shades that did come in here because I do believe all of these are already existing colors, but I didn't have these pastels. So I wanted these. So this is $38 with a $70 $72 value. Honestly, really great price. I got it for the Black Friday discount, so it was even more affordable. It is currently sold out again, but keep an eye out for it. It comes in this cute roll that I don't really know that I'll use. I'm probably just going to take these out and put them in the drawer that they belong in, but that is that. There really isn't any info on here. I'm going to imagine that these are made in the USA and no shelf life. Is that not regulated anymore? Anyways, okay. Let's go back into the palette because this is kind of the big guy here. So like I said, you get 30 shades in here and they say our rainbow mega palette is here. This fantasy land of abstract colors features and mixtures of sparkling metallics, blinged out pressed glitters, and the richest mattes. How many of us need a rainbow palette? Not very many. ColourPop already does have rainbow palettes, but I really, really do feel like they created their ultimate rainbow palette with this guy. You really do get a great range. I absolutely love the way that this palette is laid out. I'm very big on how a palette is arranged and the placement of the the colors I think is perfection. I love how each row is its own color story. So that makes it easier because a lot of times when you have a rainbow palette, especially a 30 colored rainbow palette, it can get quite intimidating. Love how they laid these out. You have a different texture of each color and it's not matching perfectly. Like all the glitters are up here, kind of like the Tati Beauty lineup. For some reason, I just really like the way that this is laid out. I think it makes it easy for you guys to use and also it makes it even more appealing. Now something to note, like I said earlier, this does have pressed glitters. So there is a total of four pressed glitters in here and I'm not a big fan of ColourPop's pressed glitters. I think they're too chunky. Pressed glitters are not eye safe and even the palette says this is not intended for use around the eye area, but there's a couple chunky glitters in here. Like these two are going to be chunky. Now the other formulas that you have in here, you have a lot of mattes and I appreciate the matte to shimmer ratio 
ratio in here there's a lot of mattes and i think with a rainbow palette it's very important to have a lot of mattes because those are going to be the base behind your looks but you also do have a couple of different shimmer formulas i feel like there's a mixture of some more lid tarpery formulas and then a couple pigmented shimmers and then you have the infamous color pop matte where it's matte with a lot of little sparkly glitters in there which i don't mind that formula but i did get a little bit annoyed at it today because i feel like i just wanted a true matte and I was getting glitter all over my face because it was just wiping away. So I wasn't really a fan of that in today's scenario with my look. But overall, I mean, I think it's a pretty nice rainbow color story here. It has every color that you're really going to need. It has every depth of color as well. You know, it's going to have your pastels, but it's also going to have the deeper colors right here, which I really appreciate. So if you're in the market for a rainbow palette, I think this is very nice. It has it all. I don't know how much thought exactly was put into this palette because overall it's just a bunch of colorful shades put into a palette, but I think it covers any needs that you may have. So maybe, maybe if you're a neutral girl, but you're looking to get into color, you just want one key rainbow palette. I think this is a great way to go because it is affordable and you get such a range here. So I'm going to take you into the tutorial for this look. I'll get into the palette and then I will actually do a little demo for what I did with the cream gel liner. So then I'll come back with my final thoughts on the quality, if they're worth it, all of that. So the first shade we're going to go into is bonus points. I'm gonna literally just pat this right in the very inner corner of my eye. We're gonna use a lot of colors today, so get ready. Next, we are using Dyed Up, which is this pastel green. And as you can see, we're building a gradient. Now, this green shade is really, really nice. It doesn't really blend away like some pastels would, so I'm impressed with this green shade. Next, we're going into Take It Easel. So this pastel blue does struggle to stay vibrant. So you can even see right here on this eye, disappeared a little bit. So I think changing from what I did with the other eye, I'm gonna put in just a bit of watermark. Ooh, this shade had a ton of kickback watermark. Oof, I did not like that. Let me blend some right here too, so you can see some more blue. That's much more vibrant, but I do not like how powdery that one is. Now, ColourPop Shadows can be a little bit more powdery, but that was like crazy amounts of fallout. So just prepare for that. Next, we are going into Majestic right here. And I'm gonna work on building this color out here in the outer corner. So you can see even without a white base, these are not bad rainbow colors. They're blending out pretty nicely. Just use a light hand. Don't over apply, be patient and you'll be good. These shadows are quite good. I'm gonna blend the purple out with Selfie. So I'm gonna go back in between both of the colors to make sure there's as smooth of a blend and transition as possible. Next shade we're going into is Iconic. Now this shade, along with a lot of other shades that are this color, this is pretty difficult to blend out. So be very, very careful with this shade. Just pat it down and then blend the edges. I believe this acts very similar to pressed pigment if it's not a pressed pigment. I believe it is though. There's a lot of pressed pigments I have that are very similar to this shade. It's not very easy to work with. Then blend just a little bit of that right down here, just a touch. We're gonna blend that into bold type. Sorry guys, I'm not telling you the brush names, but that's because I'm using so many brushes for each shade because you don't wanna mix them and have the look get muddy. Gonna dip into the blue to make sure that blend is nice and even. Next, we're going into Art Deco. That's gonna finish us up here. And this does have some glitter particles, so just be aware of that. And they can blend away, but not as much as I would like. I just wish they weren't in there in the first place, if I'm being honest. I'm using Fantasyland as my inner corner color. Very pretty. Using my finger, I'm gonna apply Pose. And this is going on the inner half of the lid. It's very sparkly and pretty. A little bit more sheer than I would like, but still very, very pretty. Pop Copic. 
So I think with these shimmer shades, you might have a better deal if you actually apply the corresponding matte shade underneath it to get more of the shine on top, top, but you can still see the color that you put down. Like if I had carried the blue down here, my lid color would have been stronger, which I would have preferred. Now I'm gonna take some of Kaleidoscope. Now this is a pressed glitter. What I don't like about the pressed glitters in this guy is I feel like they're a little bit chunkier than I would prefer. So please use with caution or don't use at all. I think since I'm just doing a touch, I'll be okay with that. And that's the look. I mean, quite impressive. Honestly, I think performance-wise, I didn't get too much fallout either. For such an affordable, colorful palette, I feel like it worked really, really well. All right, now we're gonna go into the Fade Into Hue Eyeliner Set. So I'm gonna do three different colors. So we're gonna start off with the yellow one. These came kind of broken. This is extra frosting. I don't know if they came dried or what, but some of them just aren't in one piece, the actual eyeliner. I might email them because that's not very good. And then I'm going into this peach one. This is peach fuzz. And we're just blending those colors. I love playing with color in the waterline. And then we're gonna finish with cat suit. I think I already own this one, but can throw away my old ones because I've had them for 12 months. Just right there in the outer corner. There you go, that's the look. I'm gonna finish everything else off and I'll be right back. So for a look like this, I don't necessarily know that this is the kind of look I'm gonna go for when I grab for this palette. Just for my demo, you know, I did want to use as many colors as possible, but I do see myself working a little bit more monochromatically when I use this palette or if I just need a key color, this might have it. I think everything worked very very well do I think it's amazing quality no but it's like less than a dollar per shade and I think it performed a lot better than a lot of other rainbow palettes around this price range would actually perform the shadows look well blended nothing was really too patchy I did have to go back and rebuild a couple shades but for the most part I think it fared pretty well and for the price I definitely think it's worth it especially you know if you're not going to wear rainbow colors every day I think this is fine it gets the job done it's better quality quality that I'm leaning on. Like it is a good quality palette. It's it's not a luxury quality palette, but you're dealing with some very difficult formulas here. Especially in these rows, you're going to find that the shades are going to be a little bit patchy. They're going to be harder to work with. Nature of the shadows, nature of you get what you pay for. And I'm also not the biggest fan of the shimmers that they have in here. I just want something with a little bit more punch. I do understand that some are more of a lid toppery formula. However, I just want more color and punch. You know, this is a punchy palette. I want corresponding punchy shimmers like this shimmer shade is very pigmented but that doesn't explain why this shade isn't very pigmented you know so for those weaker shimmer shades you're gonna have to put a matte underneath to compensate for the lack of pigmentation but they do give a very pretty finish to the lid like I'm not gonna lie the shimmers look gorgeous because they do have a little bit of extra dimension to them but like this shade it was just a little bit lackluster for me I haven't used every shade in this palette nor do I have a lot of experience with the shades that I did use I think what I'm trying to gather here <laughs> the palette's not perfect but I wouldn't expect it to be for the price that you're paying and just for the sheer amount of colors that you're getting but I think it did a very very good job I'm happy that I have it is this going to be a palette that I'm going to reach for a lot Probably not. I don't wear rainbows very much, but I was more than happy to pick this up because I don't have a super colorful rainbow color pop palette. If you have some of the nine pan palettes that do have more of the pastel color stories, the rainbow color stories, I think you're covered and you don't need this because I feel like this is those nine pan palettes compiled up into here. I don't have a ton. I do have a lot, but I like it. I like the big palettes. I know small palettes are really trending. I like the small palettes too, but I'm still a fan of big palettes like this. So I'm excited for this. I feel inspired to create some looks and I'm gonna leave this out on my desk So I use it some more because I'm excited about it Let's finish off very quickly with the color me obsessed cream gel liner vault. I think it's really cute I love the colors and generally speaking like I love the quality of these gel pencils You know, I don't think they're anything life-changing, but they're a good enough formula But they have a life-changing color selection here that you just don't get with many brands and you know I don't want to spend $20 on a neon blue waterline 
eyeliner, you know? So that's why I go to ColourPop. It's good enough, gets the job done. And I really like this set. The only thing is I had three colors or three pencils that were compromised in here. Two were broken. I don't know if they're dry or old. They just put a bunch of old colors into here. And then one was oddly bent. I didn't pay a lot for it, so I'm not mad, but I don't necessarily know that I would recommend it to you because you're not getting perfect condition if you got a batch like I did. I don't know, maybe it's just like, maybe all of yours came intact, but like one was not completely broken, but it kind of was. Like it, something broke in there and it's disconnected. And then another one, the top was cut off. It broke off because I guess it was too dry and then another one's weirdly bent. Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I would expect all of these to come at least in perfect condition. I think that's a trend with these ColourPop eyeliners. I feel like that happens a lot. That is that. I mean, overall, I am very satisfied. I paid $58 for both and I got a lot. I got 30 eyeshadows and then I got 12 eyeliners. For $58, I do think ColourPop killed it. And I'm not recommending this to everybody. I don't think it is for everybody. But if you're on the market for these kind of items, I think they're good enough for sure. All right, you guys. So that is all I have for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.